Good morning from Texas Motorplex here in Ennis, Texas. It's time for our day two of our TX2K24 coverage here at the track. We've got drag racing qualifying all day today until apparently it's gonna rain this afternoon. We had some fun in Mexico last night, so not, running on a little bit of sleep, so bear with us here. But you can find that on our channel shortly. We got tons of badass cars coming at you. Supras, Mustangs, big ass turbo cars. We're gonna hit the track right now. Get this in the streetcar class. We got two C5s and a C4 over here. Hope to run probably somewhere in the sevens based on how everyone's running here. Look at this thing. Joe just got done redoing this entire car. Hi, what are we gonna run, Joe? Hopefully uh, like a four, seven, and the eighth or so. I'm just trying to short track it. Cool. Yeah, it went a seven nine earlier. Nice. So. What's your quickest in it, or is that it? Uh, I've been a seven eight. Okay. So, yeah, it was a seven nine at 181. You just redid a lot of this car. Uh, yeah, I mean, recently. I had it uh, resprayed to fix all the chips, paint-wise, and then, uh, yeah, all PPF. But yeah, since the last video, it's now an LME 427, twin 76. It's on yeah. a Haltech. It's a Glide. Everything's changed out of Everything, that. yeah. Yeah, since the last one, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to come check it out later. Cool, sounds good, buddy. Beautiful. Good luck, man. Yeah. And then we got Ty Wiseman back here. Used to be cool and ran a stick shift, but now he's got an auto, so we won't judge him too much. Are you running some like 730s with this automatic now, or what's your plan? 790. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's a lot more reliable than the stick. I know. Was. I know. You got your reasons. Yeah. Still got lame. air conditioning and everything else, though. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's always been a street car. Yeah. What are the odds of two five C5? Uh, I two know. C5 I know. There's a C4 next to you. 
We're taking over. <laughs> we're, we're taking over. It only took 25 years. But. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Good luck, Ty. Thank you, brother. Joe said he was going to do an eighth mile hit, but apparently it felt good. 791, pretty close to his personal best. That car is just flying. It's so cool to see C5s going fast. Just going to do an eighth mile pass, huh? Well, it launched really good. I was going to say. And then it was kind of breaking up a little bit. <laughs> no, I heard it break up. Yeah. So it ran a 790. Yeah. What's your personal best? 78? 788 or something like that. So it was on a lick. I mean, it went at 33 to the 330. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that was probably going to be a 77. Damn. I know. I was so pumped. Oh, well. That was my best. I'm Mr. Consistent, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Have it's been like shots under the hood. Yeah, yeah. Here we'll pop it off. Cool. Look at the goods in there. Jesus. Mm. That turbo kit's beautiful. Thank you. Fire now, Nick Coleman in the S10, 682 at 212 miles an hour. Ah, dang! <laughs> Did you see that? Some redneck in an S10 just took number one qualifier. <laughs> Third year in a row, baby. Holy crap, that was wicked fast. Nice work. Appreciate it. Keep losing the damn oil cap. <laughs> It was good. Yeah, it was it's good. It's still a little slow to the 60. I don't know what that's about. I did change the clutch. I'm thinking that's where that 60 went. So, we'll see. New clutch, it's got to break it up. Huh? New clutch, brand new clutch. So, it's the old flywheel, pressure plate, new disc. So, the pass before, uh, it just blew right through it, all the way through. Oh. So, it was, it went to 714, yeah, blowing through the pass. Yeah. 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 Look at it. Yeah, that's why you knew you had more in it. Yeah. What's your PB? Uh, 672. That was an 82? Yeah, that was 82. I put the 82 tune up in it from last year. A 672 in an S10. Look at this. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> Nick Coleman, number one qualifier. We'll see how he does in eliminations. pass and close to mid seven second passes. These stick shift cars are getting insane. Six 
Seven seconds out of the all-wheel drive Integra, pretty insane. Well, we've seen smoke from Lyles' car on the top of the track most of the pass as he runs. And I just found out that's because his tires are touching the fenders when he's braking. Pretty interesting. Joel Grant is up next. He just showed up at the track, got teched in this morning. I think this might be his only qualifying pass, so it's going to have to be a good one. He is the second quickest stick shift car in the world, second to Grubler, who's also here. We always love seeing them battle it out. Maybe we'll see the record drop again this weekend. Body is crazy. It sounds like it's got a big blower on there. He's in the heavyweight class. That's to be over 4,200 pounds. Let's see how quick this truck is. Richard Burns in the house. How's it going? Good, good. How are you? Props on that lug nut shot. That was pretty that. sweet. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. One of the coolest lucky, photos I've seen from shot. this event. <laughs> how, did you, how did you even spot that? I, I don't. I didn't. After the <laughs> after I took the photo and zoomed in, that's when I noticed the lug nuts. <laughs> Just got lucky, man. That's awesome. Look at the turbo sticking out of the hood on this thing. Crazy little track hog. Saw it a couple years ago. I know. You pop the hood again? Yeah. I, I love seeing this setup. Big ass turbo under the hood. Look at that. I think we saw you run like an 850 yesterday, is that right? Uh, we ran, last pass was a 84, 169, and ran previous that was an 83 and 281, so 
trying to get in that seven club, so we'll yeah. see. Yeah. So how eight won your current best? Eight always been before. Last okay. year, it takes two games, so we're hoping to see if we can break that. We had a lot of issues. We're trying to correct them. We got the 60 foot bag. We're in the one two, so hoping that we can get those numbers. That's pretty impressive. I love the platform. Like it just looks so unsuspecting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got some nice dark tinted windows and some like street street wheels on there. Being, yeah, like, yeah. No yeah. bead locks. Ultimate no sleeper. The smallest tire. That You're you right. It's get. not. Doesn't have bead locks on it. No. They're 25.5. <laughs> They're not even 26. <laughs> when we first outed on Texas 2K 22. We did the car, it was just made up for street only. All I wanted was that some horse yeah. street car. And it uh, turned into this. <laughs> and now it's what, like 1800, something like that? No, the car is only pushed by 14. That's true, I guess you're eight, eight mid eight, or low eights. Yeah. It must be pretty light then. The car is actually weighed 30, 3,030. Really? With me in it. Okay, so it it's very unsuspecting. Yeah. I was figuring like 26, 2700. No, man, I would have loved A lot that. of steel in this thing. First year, that's what the car weighed. It weighed like 27, low 27. With me, it was like almost 29. But uh, we changed the air to water. So we gotcha. had to add more weight in the front. It's the sad really adding happy. weight, isn't it? Put oh, the yeah. cage in there. All this, yeah, big ass turbo yeah. hanging off the 2J. <laughs> yeah, when the car gets really happy, yeah, you gotta start moving. I'm sure weight. the engine's more weight than the factory one. <laughs> it should be almost twice as much. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> well, thanks for bringing something unique, man. It's, right, it's no badass. Problem, man. Good luck today. Thanks. And unfortunately for the Mark IV Supra, just in the Hibbity Hop, probably broke a driveline component. Here comes our 2JZ class for potentially the last qualifier of the event, depending on how the weather holds up today. And we have two late entries, White Rice and Dirty Taco, both owned by Dewey, our friend. And the, I believe the number one qualifier right now is 659 in the class. We usually see a bunch of different six second passes, but there's a few cars that didn't show up this year. Let's see what these new cars that just joined today for our, I think, sixth qualifier put down on the track. I like Woo! that. Ooh, I'm about this truck, man. 2JZ Tacoma action coming at you. I like it. I like it a lot. Dirty Taco, a no-time truck. Possibly the first time that thing's ever showed a time, actually. Number one qualifier. Woo! <laughs> Let's see what White Rice can do coming up behind it. an hour I was thinking that might happen late entry possibly the last qualifier for the event hasn't made a pass yet down the track 6-4 off the trailer holy crap the drag Lambo coming up first six second Huracan in the world 690 not gonna go for that fast today he's just doing his nice A to B pass probably mid seven second pass Rear wheel drive for a con from AMS.
going for a clean A to B mid seven second pass. He's getting pretty quick, 723. We might see a six second pass on Sunday if they get excited about the track conditions here. Freaking eventful pass for T1, man. Car did a little bit of dancing around a 681. Very impressive. There we have the third, six second car in the, in the GTR Limited class. GTR I remember five years ago when the first six second the pass went down, it took so much for that first one to happen. On now we've got multiples here at TX2K. The platform has just also, continued to evolve, and the car's just getting faster and faster. Making it look easy driving yeah, it back to the pits. Hey, what's it going to take to get a 1320 film pro shirt? You got to work for it. I told him he could apply. We're hiring. You got to work for it. Yeah. Let me get on the other side of that. <laughs> New <laughs> number one qualifier. Yeah. Congrats. Off the trailer. Show up for Q6 just to throw everybody off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're praying for the rain to hold off and the little truck did good. First, yeah. First no quarter kidding. mile pass ever. So he's third yeah. quickest. Yeah. First time showing times on that car. First time showing time. And first and time down the quarter. First time quarter mile pass for Jose on in that truck. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, all around knock on wood, it was a good good showing. Yeah. <laughs> it was a rough night. Was it? Oh yeah. They had a breakdown at a truck stop on the way out here. He was out there all night long changing the starter oh, and no. switching this thing over from the last battle wounds and everything else. <laughs> this is one of those deals. So you're, <laughs> so you're fixing the truck over here and switching the car over. Yeah, the, the rig, the tow rig. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jose worked his ass off. <laughs> Badass. Yeah. Welcome to the party. Yeah, thank you, sir. Eliminations will be guys. fun on Sunday. Yep, yep. Good luck. Take care. All right, we got to check out the Dirty Taco. I've not seen this truck yet. New Dirty Taco. Ooh. Damn. Oh, it's a compound setup. Holy sh! <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. How big are the turbos? Um, so this is a 110 and this is a 67. Holy crap. Yeah. 110 millimeter turbo on the big side. I mean, we don't really even see that with some of the street trucks, the diesels. <laughs> and this, this Does it still have compression? Holy crap. <laughs> I haven't seen this thing yet. It is beautiful. Thank you. Wow. The fabrication is nuts. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. So what else is done to this? What, what kind of transmission? Uh, basically, so the actual foundation is pretty much almost the same replica as white rice. So uh, TH400. Um, you know, lock up the whole nine yards. Uh, Proven combo, copy yeah. paste. Yeah, yep, yep. The only thing that's different, obviously, is, you know, this is compound, that's single. Oh, sure. Uh, no, this is, has no nitrous whatsoever. And that was kind of the game plan with this, is trying to figure, make this work without trying to rely on nitrous and everything else. It's even on an air to air, so. Oh, it is air to air. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It's usually, it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty big. It's from literally here all the way. To yeah. The so. What fuel do you run in it? Uh, we run M. Five. That'll help keep it cool. Yeah. So you mainly do eighth mile no time stuff? Mostly, yeah. And pretty much that was the goal with this, but you know, Dewey just said, you know what, take it. Take it to TXUK. Take everything over to quarter mile trim and just go have fun with it. So that's basically what we did. I love it. Cool. 
Cool. Well, good luck at eliminations. Thank or the you. next qualifier if we got time. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. I'm hoping we have another qualifier so we can try to go a little bit faster. <laughs> Congrats. 672 off the trailer. First quarter mile pass in this truck. What a wild combo. 110 millimeter turbo. Big old four-door SS is back up here again. Look at this, it's got a full back seat in here. Can I just hop in? Yeah, let's go down the track. Go for a ride? Cool. If there's no passengers, but I, would, I, I wouldn't mind. I need a little more caves back here. Oh, yeah, actually, no, I think we're all right. The whole car needs a whole lot of more caves. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I think I'm right past that limit. It's so already. spacious. There's lots of leg room up here if the bars weren't in the way. Yeah. What's been your best pass so far? Uh, I actually went 726 uh, yesterday night. Damn. At was that when you were on fire? No, uh, yes, it caught yes. on fire. Uh, fuel line let go. Fuel line let go at the, when I let off the gas. Yeah. Uh, so it made a clean pass. That's some scary shit. It was very Especially scary. Especially when you're staring at flames right there. It's exactly what I saw. I have an inside video of the whole thing. Oh, so really? <laughs> yeah, so I throw the chute, shut it off. Uh, I'm screaming at fire, uh, what is it? Uh, the the fire, the, yeah, I'm yeah. like fire, fire. They're telling me to stop. I'm like, I'm not stopping. I'm going straight to you. <laughs> I went right in there. I get out, jump out. I have a fire. Had a had one in the back. Oh yeah, I heard him announcing that. They're like, he's out. He's got his own fire extinguisher. Yeah, I'm over there trying to shut it off. They came in. We couldn't pop the hood because it still has a factory latch. So oh yeah. We popped the hood, turned it off. Uh, melted lines, melted wires. Uh, we fixed everything. Tried to power it up. Uh, the gauge was going crazy. Um, I bet. But everything's good now? Yeah. That last pass looked pretty good. Yeah, we're trying to slow it down, so I'm just trying to make eighth mile hit. So it went the fastest, the last pass, faster than the 726. No shit. To the eighth, but uh, we're trying to slow it down. I'm on the top bracket, and this car has no business being up oh, in the top no, bracket. Oh, yeah. So we're going to just work on the 60 foot right now, try to turn it up a little bit more, and and maybe we'll try to go full pass uh, so over the weekend. So your best weekend. pass is, was that your best pass, 720? 726, I went 745 the first night off the trailer, reset Jeez. my own record, and then I went 726 at 194 on the pass after. It's but, a wild car. This is definitely the only interview I've ever done from the back seat, by the way. <laughs> it's gotta be, it's gotta be. <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, we're we're out here, the car's doing great. Uh, I'll pop the hood later if you stop by the pits. And For sure, I wanna check it out. There's all kinds of damage. The paint, you can see the paint got some heat in it. Yeah. Took it. It used to be white last time you saw it. Oh, that's, oh, okay, I saw you in Vegas, right? Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, there's there's no way there's that many crazy SS's. No, same car, it's uh, it's blue now. And I uh, like the white better, sorry. Uh, all my cars are white. I mean, I just, it, got, it went in for paint and it just, it just got, it went crazy. They went crazy with it. Yeah, right, same we'll car. see what she does here. I'll come yeah. check out in the lanes. Yeah, for sure. Good luck, man. You got it, thank you. Because yesterday I saw this thing, I was like, this this doesn't feel right. I'm not saying you're not fat enough, but I think you're not fat <laughs> enough. Heavyweight, what's the minimum weight for heavyweight? 4,000. I thought it was 4,200. It's 4,200 for dual power adder. Gotcha. So single power adder is 4,000. But this is 4,000 still? With, with 200 pounds in it. That's the max ballast I can put in it. Okay, with, I was like... 4L80, LS, twins, all that stuff. It was 4,030 when I got here. Oh my, dude, I you rolled up, I was like... <laughs> 
Who's who's <laughs> whose scale did he use? I'm not, I, I was like, there's no way. It's fast enough now to be competitive in a street car. Next year, I'm not gonna do the heavyweight stuff. Got, no, so, I'm not saying you shouldn't get it. I'm not saying you're like yeah. puppy kicking anybody oh, over no. here. There's fast guys <laughs> in this class. There's, there's I was just like, I just couldn't understand that this was 4,000 pounds. Yeah. All right, so it is over 4,000. Yeah, yeah you have to weigh every pass too. You know? Okay, so I, over 200. I, I got maximum ballast allowed. Got 200, 200, 200 pounds. 200 pounds is the most yeah. that they allow yeah. for Full it. Full fuel tank. Uh, maximum ballast. If I had the factory driver's seat in it too, I wouldn't even have to put 200 in it. Damn. And last year I raised heavyweight, it had a full exhaust on it, and that was 80 pounds too. Gotcha. So I put 120 in it last year, and it was over 4,000. What are we hoping to do with this thing ET wise? What have you done so far? My This is my first, yesterday I made my first qualifying since I wrecked the car when I went to 844. Okay. Um, okay. I turned it up a little bit. Um, and then I went down yesterday right behind the guy who dropped all the rocks on the track. Yep. And just knocked the tires off. Gotcha. Like 10 foot out. Do you have an um, ET pie in the sky goal? I mean, the car's been an 8 0, not at this weight. Okay. Um, at 3,800, it's been an 8 0. Okay. Mean, I, if I go 830 on this qualifier, 830 something, I'd be happy there. All right. I'm not going to set any personal bests at this weight here. And twin turbo LS? Yeah. Stock block, sleeves, aluminum block. Um, twin zone rotors. Nice. Four lady, so so overdrive. I, I, I like your little piggy here. Good <laughs> luck you. to you, sir. <laughs> It just broke all the lug nuts off of it. It looked hit side of the grand It just sheared the studs right off. The studs are broke. Spectator side, which is one, two, three, four, five. I think that's all of them. I mean, bam. Jeez. Turned it down on the lead. <laughs> but, uh, are those axles built for this kind of weight, this kind of sticky track, that kind of power and all that? Yeah, those are. Oh. I'm going to drill and press 14 millimeter into the hubs. Maybe a good idea. Those, yeah, I didn't have time. What are those, 12s? Yeah. Gotcha. I didn't have a problem with it until I started really getting after it. Well, now you kind of have a yeah. little bit of an issue. All right, up next we have George Dodsworth, a T1 built Night Terror. This thing is a... I don't want to call it a pro mod, but it's a full chassis car, big tire on it. Uh, it's got the it's got the VR38 that you get at the GTR, fully built, makes over 3,000 horsepower, and it's got a TH400 instead of the standard transmission that's mounted in the rear. It breaks all the time, so they're still trying to figure the system out. They don't they don't race it that much. They're still trying to figure the car out, but it has run sixes, it has run low sixes. It's a beast when it goes. Hopefully, it does it on this pass. at 217 for George and Night Terror. That's what we want to see out of that thing. It can go a lot faster, so hopefully they keep turning it up to work out some things to figure some stuff out and see that thing goes really fast by the end. Okay. 
For those of you that didn't know, TX2K started as a, like a Super Me, like the Supra Nationals, literally the Supra Nationals. So all the Supras used to come here and do all their stuff, and they still have the 2JZ class, so all these guys can still come here and compete. And Peter has said they are never, ever, ever getting rid of the 2JZ class. And he said his kids, if they ever take over the event, they are not allowed to get rid of the 2JZ class either. So let's see some badass 2JZ cars go. Seventy-eight at two twelve. Damn, the dirty taco, and that's what they call us. The dirty taco is fucking awesome. That thing makes a different sound I've ever heard a two J make while doing like a burnout or something like that. We gotta be the compound turbo setup or whatever it is. It sounds so smooth. We are now moving into the GTR Unlimited class. These are the big boys, but not the biggest boys, if that makes sense. So the exhibition cars come out here. Those cars are crazy horsepower. They're not gonna go rounds, but they wanna come out here and make glory pass. That's, that's what that's for. This is actually competitive. So the unlimited class is like the fastest drag. explain what this class was. He did a 7-2, but as soon as he went through the traps, it looked like it let go. So, might be down for a little bit. what I believe is the largest class at TX2K, which is street car. There are so many different cars, and a lot of them are just dumb, like seven second street cars. A lot of them do that, and it's kind of kind of crazy. There's so many here that do it. But it's an awesome class, and uh, let's see what they can do on this fifth or sixth, I think it's sixth qualifier at this point.
right, guys, we have my favorite class here at THUK, stick shift class. They have literally some of the fastest stick shift cars on the planet here at THUK in this class. It's awesome to watch them do their stuff. At this point, when you're doing, what's what's the record right now? Uh, 661. 661. When you're doing a 661, what are you doing to go faster? Like how you, like there's there's only you've done everything. So how do you find other things? Well, I don't think we had tapped every ounce of power we had when we done that. You know, okay. Just, we, we got a little bit left. It's just hard with the stick car to you know to, to use it all. To, you know, it's just got to be kind of perfect conditions. You know. Everything fell in place when we set that record. You know, everything was just, just, just all the stars aligned. We were racing Cletus, so we threw a little bit at it. But uh, we got the bow tie block back in the car now, which is what we set that record with. It's been a year or so since we ran it. Uh, so we, we got potential to, you know, break that record. Uh, turbo still got, you know, it's got some room to go. Okay. Uh, so it's just a matter of what breaks next. <laughs> and just a reminder, this isn't an LS, because everybody probably thinks Camaro, it's an yeah. LS. This is old school small block stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's, most of our racing's been done with the LT1, like came in the 1997 Camaro. Right, right, right. Uh, just generation two of small block Chevy, but now it's got a bow tie Gen 1 block. Basically the same exact thing, it's just an aftermarket block. Gotcha, gotcha. So it's, it's a little little more cubic inch, but otherwise same, same heads, same stroke, same pretty much everything. What have you qualified at so far? Uh, we're sitting number two right now. With a, uh, we went 6.99. Okay. Uh, first, first pass off trailer went a 6.99. Bogged a little bit, so it had a pretty lousy 60 foot. So we're just working with the clutch. We're trying some new stuff. Gotcha. Well, hopefully another six. Yeah, man. Good Thank luck you. to you. Yep. Six at 211 to a 690. I didn't see the other one. Both sixes, not bad. Hell yeah. This is why I love the stick shift class. Nowhere else you're gonna see like multiple six second stick cars, unless it's like just a rowdy event with an awesome stick class like this. And up next, coming up to the water parks, we have DCT, which is all of the R8s, Lambos, uh, McLarens, GT500s. Anything with DCT and it's really fast, it's in this class. GTRs too, of course, so there's a lot of GTRs in this one. <laughs>
So Brooks had this car for a few years. She did her first seven in it last night. Like I said, had it for a few years, turned it up, started stock, and uh, got to this point and ran it its first seven ever last night. Let's see what she can do here. Qualifier number seven. Guys, we're kicking off the seventh qualifying round of 2JZ, and this will be the last class of the I think after this, we might be sending one extra DCT car, but that's it. After this, we are done for the day. So let's see what these 2J cars got for us. Fills with a 714 at 198. Yeah, I believe he's still number one qualifier with a 701, I believe. Seven ninety-five at one ninety-one for that Lambo. Not a bad way to close out the day. All right, guys, that's gonna go and do it for day two for us here at TXTK24 at Texas Motorplex here in Ennis, Texas. Uh, we got a lot more done than I thought we would get done. It was supposed to rain at like one. All the rain pretty much pushed off. We had a little sprinkles here and there, but not bad. So not a bad day two for us tomorrow. Rain looks a little stronger, so we will bring you guys racing action tomorrow if there is any. Uh, if there isn't, sorry about that, but. Stay positive because anything can happen. We were supposed to get rained out today and we didn't. So we'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, with some racing action.